In this video, I'm going to show you the original art from 1996 for the comic Quap van het Witte Doek, or it's now republished as Horace Hippo of the Silver Screen. Here I have the new cover of Horace Hippo of the Silver Screen, but the original file for the original book is called Quap van het Witte Doek. And I published this in 1996. And it was a comic with pictures and also uh, with some drawings. The story goes that my grandfather used to have an animation studio in Haarlem. I'm just going to bring uh, Horace Hippo back alive in this comic. And I have redrawn this comic, but I'm now just going to show you some of the old artwork and how I used to work in 1996. So these are the, the files. And at that time I used to draw everything on paper. And because this was a comic with pictures and also a comic with drawings. I had a photographer uh, take pictures of me while I'm drawing uh, Horace Hippo. And this is my old studio in 1996 and you still can see a fax, you know. It was the era before internet so I had to do everything on paper. So I made a storyboard, you know, to have all of these pictures taken because I also have interaction with Horace Hippo. And I'm just looking at these, you know, pictures because the first uh, page is all pictures that I'm looking at uh, some model sheets of Horace Hippo and I'm starting to draw it. So, I already made some panels for, uh, for the first page, so everything was planned out. I'm just gonna find a page where there's an interaction between me and Horace Hippo. So at that time I didn't have a computer, so I had someone else uh, scan in the photos and composite everything into the comic. And here is me drawing Horace Hippo. And this was all photographed. And I also uh, had my uh, brush, and this is a uh, Winsor & Newton number seven, number two uh, brush where I used the ink with and this was also included into the book. So these are some of the originals and you can see that um, the picture of this would be uh, composited in a computer. But here I just you know drew the outline because all of the the pictures were at the right size. Well, well, here's uh, a sample that I'm drawn into the comic by uh, Horace Hippo. And these are the originals. You can see that I drew an outline and I needed to hold something. So I uh, painted uh, a very thick uh, wooden pole you use for uh, your garden. Let me see. So this picture goes here. This one here. So this picture goes here. And you can see that I, I am holding a pole because you know it's very hard to mimic something you're holding. So this is the black painted pole. So this is how I did uh, the comic in 1996. Uh, I used a light table just to trace uh, the outlines of of the pictures and then I could draw Horace Hippo into the frame. 
and now um, I republished uh, the book, but I have rewritten everything because it's part of a bigger story, an epic story, which is called World of What If. Because the comic that, that came after it was Quap in the World of What If, uh, the Retro Flash. And this was the first publishing on demand comic in 1999. And I'm redrawing everything. So here's a little bit of the history of Horace Hippo. And I redid that in uh, the ebook, which is now available for free on Apple Books. And it's called Horace Hippo of the Silver Screen. And here you see some of the history. And it's a fictional history. So this is my uh, grandfather and this is the original picture. But I needed to create this story because it's part of the bigger story of the world of what if. And I'm now working on uh, uh, chapter two because uh, Horace Hippo of the Silver Screen is chapter one. And it's now available for free as a sort of uh, a pre-publish of uh, the graphic novel. And here you find some of uh, the old drawings and old posters and also some uh, old sketches from 1926. Because my grandfather made 13 uh, quad animations and it was l later translated for uh, an English uh, audience to Oris Hippo. So here's the old model sheet from 1928 and some articles and some interviews from from that era. An ad for uh, Cinema Palace which was a movie theater and here you can see that uh, just an advertisement for the first movie which was called Quap het Kloekenauwpaard in het strand. I also included an animation. Uh, it's an animation I made in Toon Squid, but just to make this uh, story more believable. In this new version of Horace Hippo of the Silver Screen, I'm not using the pictures, but I use the pictures as a reference to draw in a more realistic style. Because in the book I will be uh, pulled into the comic by Horace Hippo and then I change into a cartoony version of myself. This is chapter one of World of What If and I'm currently working on chapter two and that is the Retro Flash. So it's now available for free on Apple Books. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Toodles!